Hey friends, Tiffany Burns here. Wanted to share with you some of the things I learned at the 2016 Cincy Family Reunion that took place in Nashville this year. We were privileged to have the amazing John Addison speak with us and he shared some great points. Be sure to look him up, John Addison. You can find him on Facebook. Um, you can find that his book, I believe he has a book uh, going over his nine real leadership practices. I'm just gonna go over a few of the points that he shared with us with you and that way you just have an idea of what he talked about with us but I'm not going through all the details and the great stories that he shared so you might find them on YouTube or look on Facebook or definitely check out his book. Um, one of the things that he mentioned is he said I believe you get old the day you start talking about what you did instead of what you're going to do. Isn't that great? I mean, if we're so focused on the things that are in the past, the things that we've done, then what do we have to look forward to? Where are we going to move forward at this point? We've got to acknowledge the past, be excited about the past, and those sorts of things, but move forward. What do we have to look forward to in the future? The goals that we have now, keep pushing forward. Great idea. Um, so his nine real leadership practices, he did not go into all of them, but he did cover five of them. I want to just kind of get into a little bit of them. The first one is decide who you are. Who are you? And the first person that you have to lead as a leader is yourself. You cannot lead others until you lead yourself in the direction you're going to go. If you're a leader, you need to be quick to apologize. I thought that was great. Sometimes they're so quick. Um, even as parents to not want to apologize. We don't want to admit we made a mistake to our kids, to our customers, to our team, whatever, but we need to be quick to apologize, even if it's something that's maybe not quite our fault, but we know it is going to be a much easier and smoother if we would just apologize for the situation. The second thing he talked about was build on your strengths. This was just an amazing part. Um, it really feel like it changed me and really shaped me a lot. Um, basically, he said build a team to lead a dream, right? You need to build your team to cover your weaknesses. If you've got some areas you're weak in, find people who are strong in those areas and build your team that way. Um, another thing he talks about is find what you're good at without trying and then try to be the best at it. Isn't that awesome? You know you have your things that without even trying, you do them wonderfully. You do them naturally. They come beautifully to you. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you're a speaker. Maybe um, you're a good listener. You've got your things that without even trying, you do them well. Perfect them try and make them even better because you can already do them without even trying, right? I love that. So he was like, know your weaknesses, yes, but focus on your strengths, right? Build on those. Find your strength and then work like crazy at it. That was one of my favorite points, that whole thing, build on your strengths. So number three, focus on what you can control. Whoa, buddy. This is something that we are always having to do in life, right? What can you control? Focus on what matters. There are some things that are simply out of your control. You can't make your team do something. You can't make your upline do something. What can you do, right? Focus on what matters and what you're able to control, okay? What I can control is my attitude and my activity, right? The things that I choose to do, the way I react to people, and the things that happen in my life. I can control those things. My activity, how I move forward, and how I react to people, and what they do to me, and choices and things that are happening. Life is too short for timid dreams. Have high expectations for life. That is right. I am all about big dreams, dreaming big, and aiming high, and that's exactly what he talked about here, was life is too short. Don't make your dreams too small. Make them big. Have a good time, right? Have high expectations for your life. You have to live a life where there is a better day coming. If tomorrow doesn't look better than today, there's no point in living, right? So you've got to have tomorrow look better than today was. Make your dreams. Aim for those. I loved that. If you're not having fun, you're done, right? If you're not having fun, you're done. Act the way you want to feel and soon you will feel the way you act. I really like that a lot. Begin to act the way you want to feel and soon you will feel the way you act. That's great. All right, so his fourth point that he discussed was develop a peaceful core. Find things that make you peaceful. Um, he had mentioned some of the things I believe he likes gardening, and so that's where he goes to find peace. You need to find your peace. What makes you happy? What makes you peaceful, right? Leaders don't always know the answer. They just know there is an answer. So it is important for you to know that and have peace of mind knowing even if I don't know the answer, I know there is an answer even if I don't know it, right? There is an answer out there. So number five, he talked about be a lighthouse, okay? Leaders are gonna set the pace. Your team is gonna look to you. They're gonna look to see what you're doing. You're gonna set the pace, right? Leaders are gonna set the tone. 
Is it going to be a positive tone, a negative tone, a happy tone? What is the tone? Leaders are going to set that, right? If you can see up, you can get up. Sometimes we feel like we've fallen down and we have nothing else to do and we are just broken and we're done and we're going to quit. But if you can see up and you can see a possibility, then you can definitely get up. I love that. Again, John Addison, check him out. Look him up. He's amazing. He's wonderful. I guarantee you'll learn a lot of good stuff from him and grow. See you later. Thanks, John.